So there is so much of knowledge available today on instantly. Bold decisions are not free of risk. So they should analyze the risk very carefully. Being responsible is vital to a company's long-term success. My goalpost keeps on changing as we move forward in the life. During the crisis and post-crisis, always there has been and there will be exciting opportunities. First of all, you have to have a commitment, dedication and passion for what you are doing. One day I realized that I am getting addicted to golf. We could be born with the baldness, not with the boldness. And this is not only tragic, but not acceptable. If you have to grow, you have to do something differently than what everyone else has been doing. He's an Indian steel magnate based in the United Kingdom. He's the chairman and CEO of the world's largest steel making company. As of December 2015, he was listed by Forbes to have a net worth of $9.5 billion. He's Lakshmi Mittal, and here are his top 10 rules for success. So there is so much of knowledge available today on instantly and knowledge is the key if you have the knowledge if you have ambition if you are determined if you are focused if you are committed mm -hmm. use this knowledge to grow mm -hmm. everyone can do it and this is what uh, I would like to say to all young men in India I say bold decisions have to be very transformative and it has to succeed and bold decisions are not easy to take so these young people have to have a lot of experience they have to have determination they have to have a commitment and they have to think through those issues very carefully bold decisions are not free of risk so they should analyze the risk very carefully but definitely bold decisions could be a very transformative decision in the business and what they are. I would encourage young people to continue to analyze their situation and take bold decisions because otherwise you cannot make a step change in your career. Being responsible is vital to a company's long-term success. I have always believed this. Because being responsible not only has benefits for society, it has clear benefits for the business. Let me give you two examples. First, our success in reducing our own CO2 emissions has cost benefits. Secondly, in developing new and innovative products to help our customers improve their environmental performance and we maintain our market leading position. Did you ever foresee the kind of success you've had? When you're in Indonesia and things were in that state, did you ever foresee it? I never expected that we would reach here. And I'm not a person who sets very high goal. You don't set high goals. My goalpost keeps on changing as we move forward in the life. Then you're not very disappointed if you don't succeed. Oh. It's, all, it's always been one step forward. Yeah, always make a small step forward and you become stronger and you gain okay. confidence, then you change your goalposts. So it gives you more pleasure than setting up a very high goal and you don't reach them. I don't think we ever talk uh, ahead. forward uh, more than a year ahead. Is that yeah. right? For the last couple of years we have been thinking more five-year strategy or yeah, ten-year strategy. I'm talking mm. of those days. Yeah, yeah. In the beginning mm. we, were, we were looking very short-term view. This challenging time gives us a lot of experience. There are two kinds of situations. One, what are the bold decisions we could have taken during the crisis? And a lot of companies took the opportunity of taking bold decisions during the crisis and reshaped their business model for the future. They have stripped off some of the assets, they have reduced their cost, they have flexibilized their fixed cost and expenses, they, uh, they, have, they have started spending a lot of money on innovation and for the future. They've started diversifying to emerging markets. So there has been a lot of uh, bold decisions taken during the crisis. And post-crisis, I see that companies need to take bold decisions to design their business model for next 20 years, looking at the growth areas, looking at the opportunities. So I believe that during the crisis and post-crisis, always there has been and there will be exciting opportunities. 
The story goes back to when I was 16 years old. I passed my Hindi medium school in Kolkata and then applied for admission in St. Javier's. Since I came from Hindi medium school, Father Joris at the time, who was a principal, felt that I would not be able to fit in in an English medium college. Though I was top in my class in school, I got admission in other, in other colleges, but I really wanted to study in St. Javier's. So I kept on knocking his door every day and finally he gave it up. And I promised him that I'll be a good student, and which I did. And, and how did this experience sort of shape, uh, shape you as a business person? I mean, you're breaking down doors, breaking ceilings. Is that something that you learned at St. Xavier's? Uh, it was a challenge for me to prove Father Joris wrong that coming from Hindi medium school cannot do well in an English medium college. And that challenge really gave me a lot of learnings. I determined myself that I would prove him wrong and I really dedicated myself, committed to myself that I have to accept this challenge and continue to work hard, focus on the studies. And this is a great learning in the business life. That first of all, you have to have a commitment, dedication and passion for what you are doing. As I said, everyone works hard, but something needs to differentiate yourself with some others is to focus, dedicate, commit and continue to work hard. I don't like to get <laughs> addicted to any one hobby. Okay. <laughs> now, for example, I started playing golf. I liked it. I liked it a lot. Every day in the morning I would uh, go and practice. One day I realized that I'm getting addicted to golf. Wow. So one day in the morning I was driving to golf course and suddenly I realized that this is not right. Turn around. So I turned back the car and since then I never played again. So you don't have any addictions? I don't like addiction. I think it's, it could distract me from my focus. We are not born with the boldness. We could be born with the baldness, not with the boldness. It is uh, not that something you learn only from education. Education is only one enabler, but you have to have experience. You have to have experience of success, which means you gain some confidence, and uh, then you have to have your small goals, small goals set up in your life. And if you succeed, and if you think that uh, you are more confident than before, you want to take uh, bold decisions in the future but I will always be concerned about health and safety until we reach a place of zero accidents and zero fatalities. There were a number of fatalities again in 2012. And this is not only tragic, but not acceptable. We have to remain dedicated to addressing this problem. I want our senior leaders to lead by example. That's why I have asked my colleagues on GMB and MMC to spend more time on the shop floor and promote increased training and awareness for both our employees and our contractors. This is how we will drive further improvement. I was in uh, Tokyo with uh, one of the businessmen from India. And when I was talking to him, I realized that acquisition is a way to grow. Mm. I realized that life is very short. Mm. And if you have to really do something, you have to do very quickly. If you have to grow, you have to do something differently than what everyone else has been doing. So I started thinking that if I start building a steel plant, it would take years. Mm. And how many steel plants, how can many you companies build? you can build? And if I have to succeed in my life, I have to find a formula which is different and which keeps me ahead of my competition and my colleagues. That's how I thought that we should acquire companies, merge, consolidate them, reduce their cost, make them very efficient. And it became like a, a turnaround, became a science. I, I wouldn't say that, uh, yeah, uh, it's not a, but a science or art, it is a mix of uh, science mm. and art. Mm. Because every company has a different issue. It's not that 
there is a formula which you apply. Can apply on everyone. Yeah, it is not H2O is equal to water here. But the pattern, you established this pattern and yeah. you applied it in different countries, different markets. Yes. If you want another amazing video highlighting excellence in the Indian community, check it out right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe and I'll see you there.